What up, Whiskey Ginger fans? Welcome back to the show. If it's your first time joining the show, welcome to the show. We got a good one for you today. Like my man Steve Harvey say, it's Fortune Feimster. Love Fortune so much. Known her for so very long. She has a great special out on Netflix right now called Good Fortune. Please go watch. Check it out. So funny. So talented. Uh, and she's on the road. Go check her out. Uh, and I am doing one more date. That's it. Doing one more date in Boston. Boston, Massachusetts. Come out and see me for New Year's Eve and New Year's Eve Eve. Uh, AndrewSantino.com for tickets. AndrewSantino.com. We've released a new show. We're doing uh, Trish shows now uh, in Boston. So New Year's Eve and New Year's Eve Eve. AndrewSantino.com. AndrewSantino.com. Enough rambling from me. Let's go to the episode. In here, we pour whisk, 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 whisk. Oh, that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75 for the horse. Gingers are hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger. I like gingers. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Whiskey Ginger. My guest today is one of my favorite people on earth. I say that from, I guess, but I mean it once again today. It is the return. Of the fantastic, the fantabulous, the ferocious, Burr. the fiery, the flamboyant, <laughs> the uh, fluctual, uh, fl- uh, fl- uh, flum- flummoxing, yep. fortune feemster. <laughs> Cheers. Up, Cheers to you, Santino. fortune. Thank Cheers you for coming. You. Thanks Link. for having me. See if you like it. Mm. We did a mm at the same time. We did. Wow, that's strong. Is it good? It's really good. Knock your little socks off. What is that? It's oh, good jazz. It's good, Don't worry it's good about j- it. <laughs> It's good jazz. I'm drinking jizz. You're drinking jazz. <laughs> jazz, not jizz. Oh, jazz, good. That, you do that on your own I time. don't know what jizz tastes like, so <laughs> <laughs> it's good just to know. You've never tasted it? The guy, the guy's You've never jizz. had jizz ever? No, I'm a gold star. Wow. Yeah. Well, I guess they should say, I, I get that, but I mean, I've never tasted it either. <laughs> There's guys that have tried their own. No, come on. Absolutely, that's a real thing. That's not No, that's I swear not to God. necessary. Well, think about it like this. I, I feel like a girl would probably at some point maybe try to taste herself. Mm, no. Never? Never. No. no. All right. <laughs> <laughs> We're really getting started today. Well, you did it. You started I off did, with the I J did. word. And was, I didn't do it. That was my bad. You're a bad. You're that, bad. I take one sip yeah. of <laughs> freaking bourbon. A little bit of bourbon. You start talking about jizz. <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. I turned straight. Uh, yeah, you did? <laughs> and I flopped. I'm gay now. You are gay. You're about to taste shit. <laughs> what do you think my percentage is of gay, may, truthfully? You're, Did, you don't have a lot of gay in you, I don't God. think. Thank God. I God bless. I don't God bless. see that in you. You don't see any in me? Not really. What if I had a dick in my ass right now? <laughs> then I would say <laughs> chances of you being gay are high. Pretty high. Pretty high. <laughs> I don't have any... Um... You have like some sensitivity. Uh, True. Like you, you can be like... Uh... I, I have... I have. Um, this thing is... You have, this you thing have a still good works. heart. Yeah. yeah, I care. You care. But also, but men to me are... Boy, oh boy, are they unattractive. Yeah, I, I wouldn't think that you'd be into it like a They're caress. T- not really. Yeah, because my type of guy would be um, a more Very macho, macho. Sports, sports guy. Yeah, because I'd want to be able to hang out. Because some of those gay guys are ripped. Like, you kidding me? When I lived in West Hollywood for fifteen years, and it was I didn't go to one of the popular gay gyms because I didn't want to be embarrassed. They're so. I went to a, like fit. a schlubby sh- straight guy gym. Yeah, Easton so... down by Swingers. <laughs> 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 I did. It's a schlubby straight guy West Hollywood yeah. gym because you don't want to go to the hot gay gyms because they're jacked. And they're judging you. Yeah, they're like they're super judgmental. Freaking slob. Well, your outfit here. has to be has to be on point. Mm-hmm. You you know you kind of have to be doing the right exercises uh, in the right circuit. Okay. At schlubby straight guy gyms, you kind of just can fuck off a little bit yeah, and do your like, own thing. What do you bench? Is it like yeah, the that? what do you bench? Yeah, what do you, what do you bench? bench? Yeah. Four 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 eight five. <laughs> but uh, but anyway, I uh, I guess I have zero. I guess I'm not on the Kinsey your, scale or your whatever. Your gaydar is low. Or no, I, no, no, my gaydar is the good. The gaydar, you can spot the gays. But yeah, you yourself, yeah, Just you're not, low on the scale. That's fine. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, <laughs> I'm a little hurt by it. Um, Fortune and I, I've known each other for a very long time. Yeah. Fortune is on her, what number special now? My second hour. Your second hour, but I've you've done had two three. Ha- I've done two half hours. Right. And now two hours. Okay. So that counts as three, right? I just I think those thirties are specials. <laughs> I mean, yeah, for sure. I know it's a different ball game than the hour, but there's still something. I think it's the same thing. To be honest with you, it's yeah. like because the time doesn't mean doesn't make up the idea of a special because mm-hmm. you could have a variety show special be forty minutes. Yeah, 
or longer. I mean, who did I see? Some yeah, some comics have like forty five minutes. Well, uh, we just joked off. Uh, well, what's his hours. name? Uh, 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 Gabriel got Fluffy. His was two like two an hours. hour, an hour and forty five or something. What are you doing? I, and he Fluff, what and are I, you doing? And he just said um, that he filmed three hours, and they cut it down. In what world can you do three hours? I don't know what you would talk about for that long. I'm exhausted. After one, I'm like, we're done, right? Yeah, I'm like, you guys don't want more. No. Like, we should all go home. Home. Go home. <laughs> go home. I'm asking people 45 minutes in, text the valet, get your car yeah. ready, heat it up, because we're out of here in you 15. You got like 20 to 25 from the opener. Yep. I'm going to give you like an hour, hour five. You got it. That's good. What else do you want from us? Yeah. You no, don't I want... don't get the hour 50 or whatever he did. That's... um. It's... I, look, if that's what the audience wants, and also yeah. I think you know that's I guess that's the rhythm of him. But like, like, do you stick exactly to? Speaking of which, we we jumped over it. Fortune has a new special out right now yeah. on Netflix. <laughs> Click on it. It's called Good Fortune, and you will receive good fortune if you watch the whole thing. If you watch right. some of it, you're fucked. Yeah, even if you don't want to watch it, just turn it on <laughs> and let it play in the background. Put it on in the background. Come on. And let it ride, baby. Because that's how people get specials now. They just want to know that they people know watched the numbers. it. Yeah. I know. That's so funny. And it is weird that that's the viewer um, length is a part of their algorithm being like, yeah. well, it, they only viewed it for 37 minutes yeah. out of the whatever. But they, it only counts it if you watch it continue so if they pick it back up right. it doesn't count right i think you have to watch past a certain amount of time i don't know what the cutoff is but i know if they like click on it and like only watch for like a minute or two that doesn't count that stinks so don't so don't fuck me over guys don't fuck her over you guys <laughs> please it is it is so funny to think like they have the power a little bit yeah. Do you know what i mean like the it never used to be that way where if you put out you know, if a network TV did something, mm -hmm. the viewership does matter, but like you still control the narrative because it was uh, appointment viewing. It was like, you got to yeah. watch on Friday. Right. So they were kind of subject to you being like, we're only going to show you this on Friday. Yeah. Now we're like, here, please. Please, well, please watch this. Please, please look at me now. <laughs> <laughs> well, also there's so many stand-up specials. There's there a are. lot for people to consume, which is awesome for our field, you know, that people have these opportunities. It but is. It, you know, you're just trying to, Find your, like, where's your place in that kind of thing. You found your place. I think so. I mean, I was really happy that after the first one, I got, you know, people watching it because the world shut down. Yeah. So that, you know. You did that, by the way. I did. People, I, I think people don't know. They, they, this pandemic <laughs> thing, they were like, where did it come from? Where's yeah. it about? It's fortune. I have that power. I was like, I need people to stay at home and watch my special. <laughs> <laughs> She's been cooking this up in the lab for a couple years. Well, I was really bummed, at, like uh, like everybody else, because I was about to go on this big tour. Same. Uh, and then the world shut down, and I never thought the you know the byproduct of that would be that everyone needed stuff to watch. They did. And they watched. And isn't that good? And yeah. now they're going to watch Good Fortune. Hopefully. So I heard that you had, uh, you followed Chappelle's... Um, model and you had a bunch of anti-trans stuff in there that was all that was all you oh right? god yeah no. <laughs> <laughs> god no it is it, it now though there is this weird conversation about like what comics can say and can't say in the specials mm -hmm. and uh, at the end of the day uh you know what you what you can say and what you can't say i mean i think that i found my voice in sweet and salty my first special yeah where i really love the storytelling I was like, this is my lane, I yeah, think. Telling your story. Yeah, telling my story I agree. and like making that into a narrative. And so when people are like, What can you what can you or can't you joke about? I'm like, I'm just telling stories yeah. of my life, you know. Mo most of it is your most of your stuff has is gotten super personal, mm -hmm. which is great. Because you do then sly away from all that other stuff that you're like, I don't need to approach any of that. Well, because I I'm shit. like there's so many more well-equipped people to talk about politics, to talk about world things. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not that person Please. you want to hear that I went to a state school. From. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not telling you. I say open, openly, if I do talk about those things, I'm always like, you do know I'm not. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. This is You me. should not listen to I'm me I'm kidding this. about the idea of it existing. <laughs> right. I don't know what it really is. Yeah. But I think, uh, I think it's, there, the narrative is false, though. When people are like, "Ooh, what can you guys say?" You're like, mm -hmm. "Pretty much anything." I mean, you can say yeah, what you it's want; your... it's going to come back at you, right? If people hate it, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. But, um, how's married life? 
I just drank another thing of another sip of bourbon, bourbon and set you back five years. <laughs> yeah, your brain just goes. But I do forget everything now because of this. I know that stuff's strong. It's good though. I made it strong on purpose. Oh, you're you just want me to tell all my secrets. Yes, I don't have any. Spill secrets. it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, married life is good. Yeah. I got married in October of 2020. Mm-hmm. Um, and right in the heart of the pandemic. Right in the heart of it, we were like, let's just do it because honestly. We were stressing out about the idea of throwing this big wedding and who do we invite and who's going to be offended and how are we, you know, we going to like t- make sure our families are okay. It was just becoming too much. Yeah. And we were like, this is the perfect time to get married because you can do whatever you want. Yeah. So we invited like four friends and- Courthouse? Uh, no, we rented an Airbnb cool. and hired like this same day marriage type of place, mm. you know, to come out. They sent someone out in a mask and we got married on the porch, the deck of this p- rental. Here in LA? Yeah, in Malibu. Ooh. I know. Over the beach? The was boot, it, o- it was on a, the ocean? Yeah, the looked out to the ocean um, and just got married. We were, we were, Fuck we yeah. zoomed our families. It was perfect. What's, and did you sleep in the Airbnb? We did. What's the cutoff? Did you make those people get the fuck out? Um, the, yeah, they left at like I don't know ten. How did that conversation go down? Oh, they were like they knew we they didn't knew. have to. Yeah, <laughs> it is funny though because I have friends. I know one of my friends would be like, "We're just staying to do some shots." And we like, should all hang you gotta out. Gotta get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> You're like, don't I'm, you know that we just got married? I'm and now married. We're gonna go have some fun. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but we just did another more hour. That's my friends would yeah. never have left. My friends were like, we ate dinner and we're hanging out, and then they were they kind of. They got right. it. Yeah, they got it. What was the what was on the menu? Um, we well again it was like you know crazy times. We thought about hiring like a someone to like a yeah, chef, chef or something, but we were trying to keep it as little amount of people as possible. Sure. Uh, so we just found a res- a local restaurant and ordered like steaks, cool, and salmon to go. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. Easy. So it was easy. easy. You want to do it easy. I mean, it was the easiest, best way to get married. And honestly, it makes me now want to suggest to people to do a small thing. Well, yeah. I mean, we did get away. We got out of the country because I was oh, like, you... I don't want anybody to be... Oh, you did like a like an elope kind of thing? No, we did it. We did. It's so funny to say destination wedding wasn't okay. destination because nobody was really invited. Right. So we left. <laughs> y'all were the death. Y'all yeah. had a destiny. It was our family, so yeah. it's just that made it easier. It was like no can no one can argue of like yeah. why wouldn't I be the best man or the best? It's like fuck right. that. I don't want what, any of that. What was the destination? Costa Rica. Okay. Yes. I love it was great. It, it yeah. was wonderful. Rented a couple houses. Uh-huh. Did it at the house. That's great. Just like you. See? Except we stayed in another house. Yeah, away from everybody. Yeah, I was like, I'm not fucking staying in the no. house with you psychos. You don't want to so do we that. let them sleep at the at the big one, at the really nice one. Oh, truly. really? And we were at just a little bungalow. Well, it was just us two. Yeah. And there was you know family down. There was like you had yeah. to and the nieces, the kids. So it's like, I don't want to. Mm-hmm. I don't want to wake up to that. Yeah. No. Uh, like, you rah, 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 yeah. You no don't thanks. want like a niece and nephew running Mm-mm. in your room. Mm-mm. No, thank you. you. <laughs> yeah. I'm pulling on his penis. Like, get out of here. Yeah. I don't want that. So, yeah, that, that was the, that's my same idea was. Yeah. I just didn't want. Um, I think there's so much weird pressure in this day mm-hmm. and age of like, who gets to do the thing? And you're like, I don't right. I, I don't want any of that. Yeah, and even in, and it and it's expensive. So I mean, fucking rip off. Like we, ours was small, um, and it still was not cheap. I, I mean, know. mainly because of the, probably the Airbnb. Yeah, but... Cal- uh, Malibu rental. Is yeah, that was that was <laughs> probably the price. That tag. wasn't a hundred bucks. <laughs> You're like, how much is it? This is pretty cheap, right? They're like, it's on the ocean. You're like, okay, so you're like, I'm gonna pay a lot, but the setting was perfect because the pa- the back porch mm-hmm. was a complete like. A view of the ocean. Stunning. It was gorgeous. Stunning. Yeah. Would you ever live in Malibu? I don't want to because it's a tinder box. Mm-hmm. Uh, but my wife would love to. And every time we drive in there and I go, that'll burn down and that'll burn <laughs> down and that'll burn down. Or it'll down. get washed away. Either one. I'm afraid it's just going to get eaten by the ocean. Well, the people, they, some of these rich people that post these videos of them on their deck, the the waves are like crashing into their in their kitchen deck, yeah. and I'm like, that will eventually wipe this house yeah. away. That's but a twelve just, million dollar wave coming yeah, at you. They're like, look how beautiful this is. I'm like, I have heart palpitations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> watching this. That's what I see. Yeah. As a guy who who is constantly doing something bullshit around my house, mm-hmm. we're nowhere near the water. And I'm yeah. like, even this is annoying. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to have the your thing. Your house will get swept away yeah. from the Malibu Ocean. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to have the thing where 
that's a thought where they're like, hey, man, we have to raise the house up 10 feet because yeah. now the tide is so high. Yeah. And you have to retrofit everything. And it's only going to cost like $7 million, so oh can God. you do it? <laughs> and Malibu's got, what, two ways in? One, yeah. Uh, you got, yeah. you either go south or north. Yeah, you're right, yeah. And, the canyons are know, fucked, too. One across. Right. And that's it. So mm -hmm. every time there's a fire, it's an eight-hour, um, you know, back-to-back -back traffic. Although the walk away from your home as your house is burning on the beach is beautiful. It is a gorgeous view. As the sun is setting and... There was that, is going up. There was that video that went viral of like the most gorgeous sky and like, <laughs> like it was all from a house thousand smoke. cars trying to get out of Malibu. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> but it is really pretty. The smoke makes it's, really pretty Ma sky. Malibu's so pretty though. It is. In general. It is. But I just have no I don't surf. I think yeah, I think you gotta sure. if you're like it seems like you gotta be near retiring, right? Because it's far from everything. Yeah, you got to kind of be ready to just sit there most days, and then yeah. or or you're, serve or you're fancy, rich enough where you can go in and get mm -hmm. out, and that's kind of like a we can stay there for a week at a time. And yeah, then, that's a thing. I don't have to work this week. I'll yeah, go that's nuts. shoot my movie. That's and... like what Sandra Bullock does in my mind. Yeah, she has like fifteen houses or something. I think seriously, I think she has a pretty big um, real estate profile portfolio. Jesus. She's Whatever putting up decorations at 15 houses on the <laughs> holidays. <laughs> Can you imagine? I think she might be selling some. She's she's downsizing. Yeah, I think I would too. There's too many yeah. fucking houses. Would you ever move back to the South? Um, I had a place there for a while. You I did? just sold it. Oh, why? I just was never getting back there enough. Right. It was um like nice in theory. Like every time I did go home, I loved it. But then I was like always on the road touring yeah. or you, you didn't know. use it as like a midway point when you went east at no, all no because um because north carolina is not central enough we're thinking about maybe getting like a condo in chicago as a midway who point. who are you talking to i know right you know i've been looking at that for a long time but can, I, can i give you warning okay illinois yeah nightmare is it's it? like california well first of all it's extremely expensive oh wait, aren't the taxes really high they're too? fucking gross uh because i'm already we're already dealing with that here yeah, it's the same it's the same it's basically yeah. making another move and i'm not saying you're getting a second place to be for, for yeah, money but i wouldn't be trying to but i will tell you money. hoa downtown in the city oh really? my as one time we looked at a place uh like a bullshit little baby cute condo just to have as a little spot when yeah. i go home uh, and the HOA was more than my mortgage, more than its mortgage. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I, I kind of like Anderson. Anyway, buy a, I like buy Anderson. Oh, Anderson Bill. Yeah. Very nice. I don't know, very nice. but we'll see. Cause you know, I met my wife. She, she was living in Chicago. That's right. Was she living years. in Andersonville? She was lit. No, she was more West, but I don't know. Andersonville and Boys Town. A lot of competition between these two places. Well, the lesbians are in Andersonville. Andersonville is, yeah, that's right. Lesbians are in Andersonville. They own it. Yep. And then the the gay guys are in Boys Town. I also like Lincoln, the Lincoln Park. That's probably pricey, though. Lincoln Park is, yeah, it's very nice. That's kind of, that's close enough. Look, the gays are everywhere. What do you want me to say? <laughs> Thank you. They own the I whole only want to live around gays. <laughs> <laughs> Not, I don't want to live around you straight people. You just walk into a story like, there's no gays in here. I love that you're like, well, let's let's find you somewhere where gays are. Well, we got to get you where the gays are. You can't yeah. go. Yeah. Andersonville is the spot in Chicago, though. Yeah. But also, that's like an it, everything is so nice now. Uh -huh. Anywhere in the city like that, you're going to be paying out the schnoz. All right. Anyway, get a place. I'll get a place. Get a place. Get a we'll place. I'll get a place. Yeah, we'll hang out. I'll well, scoot, I'll scoot you over to you. If you get a place, I'll get a place. If you get one, I'll get one. <laughs> All right. If you do it, I'll don't, do it. Don't you let me down. Imagine you do it, and I'm like, I'm not going to do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I got too scared. I, was like, I only did this because we were both going to do this. <laughs> Your wife was like, what the fuck were you thinking? <laughs> well, I just. Well, Santino said he was going to do it. Santino said. I like the idea of uh, having a place in the middle of the country Same. for the touring when because there's so many like back to back East Coast dates sometimes and Ugh. I just don't want to fly all the way back to L.A. Look, I love New York, but flying to New York, I yeah. I, I I just it's a fucking nightmare. Yeah, and I I, I know how, there's so many people I know that do it all the time that mm -hmm. are like it's not that big of a deal. I'm like, yes, it is. I don't it's care how lot. comfortable it is on a plane. Yeah. It's forever away. I know. I, I thought. I even thought about oh, fucking like, Europe, Nashville at one point. Yeah, a lot of people down there. They don't. It doesn't fly direct as much as Chicago. No, yeah, it's not as big of a hub. Yeah, but then I also want my wife to have somewhere to go where her friends are and stuff. When I am touring like crazy, and she's like sick of the road, like I cannot do this. Anymore. So she's on the road with you most she of the time. A lot of yeah. Isn't that kind of crazy yeah. for her? She was, she was a kindergarten teacher for twelve years. 
and like right around the and uh, now she's a third grade teacher for the rest of her life <laughs> exactly <laughs> uh, right around the pandemic she's like i can't yeah. do this anymore or at least for now so god bless her by the way being someone that ta- taught little yeah tiny developmental minds because they're little assholes it's hard I went to her classroom. They class- don't listen. Yeah. I went to her classroom for like an hour. And I don't know why I said this, but my head started throbbing. Mm-hmm. And I don't even go to this place like ever. But I was like, I need a Jamba Juice. <laughs> 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 and she was like, why? I was like, I don't know. My head hurts. <laughs> but I just want a juice. I just want a Jamba Juice. Cut to you juice. in a circle, uh, uh, sitting <laughs> sitting cross like just sipping on a juice with the other kids. I think I've had Jamba Juice like three times in my life. I think I've had it maybe once. I and don't even I, know. I'm like, why is that what I need? But Because you because it sounds comforting I at guess the moment so. in time. But that was a testament to how I could never be a teacher. Mm-mm. I don't know the patient. I'd be one of those teachers that ends up in the paper when you see the photo and it's like, <laughs> teacher loses it on class and throws a child physically like out a oh, window. Oh, yeah. Don't, you I'd pick up a kid teach. by arm and legs and just... <laughs> Right out the window. And kids don't know what to do with me. I walked in the class and one little girl immediately raised her hand and she was like, is that a boy or a girl? And I was like, that is offensive. To you <laughs> yeah. or to the teacher? She asked Jax yeah. about yeah, yeah. me. But, you know, they don't have any qualms about... Their filters don't exist. <clears throat> yeah. Which half of that is beautiful, right? Because kids don't get it. Mm-hmm. But then also then you're like, we. that's why we have to teach you. Right. So you understand the world. Yeah. But and- it is kind of nice when kids are like... That looks gross. And you're like, <laughs> all right, well, I understand what you're saying about that, but we can't say that about what that person right. did because that's mean. And they're like, oh, yeah, it is gross. You're like, okay, that's sit down. I said, well, to be fair, I do get called sir sometimes when I walk in the bathroom. So, you sir? Know, yeah. I've what had... do you respond? I just kind of go, I'm a, well, I don't know why I said this is one lady. I went, I'm a ma'am. Like, instead of saying I'm a girl, I just said, I'm a ma'am. <laughs> I'm a ma'am. I'm a By ma'am. By the way, how easily misconstrued. She's like, a man? I know. I called you sir. You're like, no, bitch. No. I said, ma'am. ma'am. <laughs> By the way, if you don't have merch shirts that say, I'm a ma'am, I'm I, fucking, I get yourself get some get I'm a ma'am. That. <laughs> that is a great response. Yeah. I'm, a, uh, I'm a ma'am. In here, we pour whiskey. Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. Hey guys, I've talked about BetterHelp on this show uh, many a times uh, for a couple of years now because I believe in it, I use it, I really do enjoy it, and uh, I think it's great. Look, a lot of people have a lot of things going on in their life. It's hard to organize your brain and what you've got going on in your schedule and your calendar and also take time for yourself to focus on your mental health help needs awareness and uh, what's going to get you to a place to feel whole, happy, and healthy. And I got to tell you, uh, talking to someone is great. Uh, they can help you solve the problems uh, in your life, whether they're big or small. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but they can help you talk through stuff and get through tough times. Or just someone that's uh, a good shoulder to lean on when you just want to vent and get it out. Um, and I like it. I enjoy it. And I believe in it. Um, the best part is it's a great option uh, because it's all convenient. It's accessible, affordable, and it's entirely done all online. Uh, you can do it from the comfort of your own home on your phone and your laptop and your iPad and your computer from whatever part of your uh, home that you are in or if you're on the road in a hotel somewhere else and you're gone, you can speak to somebody um, and it's extremely convenient. It's also uh, helpful to get matched with a therapist and all you have to do is uh, fill out a brief survey. That's all you got to do. Jump on there, let them know and uh, you can switch therapists at literally any time. So uh, if you're looking to you know, help become a better problem solver, making it easier to accomplish your goals. BetterHelp is the place for you. When you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash whiskey, betterhelp.com slash whiskey. That's better, H-E-L-P dot com slash whiskey. Today, to get 10% off your first month, betterhelp.com slash whiskey. Hello, Fresh. What is Hello Fresh? Uh, well, Hello Fresh, you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. You can skip trip to the grocery store. And uh, count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. I've been using HelloFresh for a while now. I'm always a busy boy on the road. It's hard to eat properly at proper times of day. So I just shove stuff in my ha- in my face that I find in my house, which is not the, not the move. And HelloFresh is incredible. Uh, you can save money by cooking at home. Uh, fall is a perfect time to experience the delicious taste and unparalleled convenience of HelloFresh. They got these farm fresh ingredients. They go right to your door, baby. They got fall-inspired items on that HelloFresh market. 
uh, from brunch kits to fall dessert board. You're going to find everything that you need for your favorite autumn occasions. Ha <laughs> ha! Like tailgating Oktoberfest and much, much more. If you got a packed calendar, they got their quick and easy meals. This is what I love. That's 20 minute recipes for low prep uh, and easy cleanup options. That's kind of my favorite. The, the quick ones are so fast to throw together and throw inside your gullet and get inside your belly. And the changing season means changing taste with 30 plus weekly recipes to choose from. HelloFresh has something for everybody. Easily customize your meals by swapping proteins for sides or upgrading your choice of proteins, adding a protein to a veggie. Also, if that is your vibe. I've been using it for a while and I love it. I love the quick and easies. Uh, those are my favorite because they are, you know, simple to get in and get on the move and get to the, the next thing that I'm doing during the day. How do you get in on this good food at your front door? Go to HelloFresh.com slash Whiskey65 and use the code Whiskey65 for 65% off plus free shipping. That's incredible. Uh, go to HelloFresh.com slash Whiskey65. Use the code Whiskey65 for 65% off plus free shipping. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Ginger. I like gingers. Speaking of which, I just walked in the bathroom on a guy today. It was so funny because I thought nobody. <laughs> you walked uh, in on him. A guy on a stall because it, uh, no one ever uses this stall, uh-huh. right at the gym. It's just like no one ever is in this last. It's in a cor- It's in the corner. Yeah. And I busted in kind of uh, quickly. I was I, talking to the guy. I was saying yeah. bye to somebody. And I was like, oh yeah, blah, blah, blah. and I pushed in real hard. And he maybe locked it. You know, it's one of those little um, elementary oh, school locks. Yeah. Where sometimes it doesn't snag. Right. And I pushed it wide open and he was <laughs> oh on God. the shitter. Oh no, he was He was on the shitter. Yeah. And I felt bad because I laughed a little bit. I was like, Oh, that's sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. But the wild thing was, and were look, you nobody going, knows who this were guy you is. Were you going to take a poop too? I was gonna go take a shit. Okay. But I would have locked it all the way. Yeah. But uh, nobody knows this man, so I'm not being mean, but his little penis oh, no. was above the toilet seat. It was up, you know, he was sitting like this and it was yeah. pointed like kind of upwards at me almost okay. where he could have shot me if he wanted to. Yeah. And his little tiny piece was up. And it's almost like my, it's almost like my sight for a, if went I was right, a, It went right to the penis. Yeah. It was like a fighter jet, like where my yeah. sight was like, do, 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 do. I'd focus right on his little <laughs> tiny penis. And I, I couldn't, I couldn't, lo- I couldn't it's stop like, looking. Dude. <laughs> but it was so teensy weensy. Yeah. And I, that's, I chuckled not at his penis at this situation, but I think he thought, that were, man laughed oh, you, at my small little penis. He probably did. And I said, I'm a ma'am, not a man. <laughs> and I slammed the door on him. Now, is there a world in which, I, because, you know, I don't understand the anatomy of a penis that well. Yeah. Uh, I'll where, send you a PDF. Where other stuff, it could be tucked down and maybe it was bigger than it if looked. If your penis is long enough, it should not be above it, the, it, the... It would be like hanging... It'd be in the toilet bowl. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> if you have a regular size penis, <laughs> okay. it shouldn't be up. A, it shouldn't be pointed up at the sky. It should be pointed down. Down. Okay. Yeah, it should be a regular penis. All right. I guess I've never thought about a dude on the toilet yeah and why would you <laughs> true and why would you well you know how sometimes your vagina kind of falls out of the toilet you yeah, know how that happens you know how that goes but uh, but it was i feel bad for this man and he'll never know this but um he's a big fan <laughs> <laughs> he's listening he's like oh. he's on a toilet somewhere and he slowly takes out his headphones he's like oh my god it's miserable he's like my hero <laughs> my hero my hero said, you know, my penis you meant everything to me and you mocked my tiny penis <laughs> and i'm not mocking you yeah man he loves steve you. lofeld here's his address and phone number right here please text or call and send just, him mail letting uh, him know we're just shaming do steve. you get fan mail i mean uh not like physically in the mail like did people make art for you though um, people like to draw those caricatures, you uh, know, like the cartoon mm. where everything's very pronounced. Yes. They're the most horrifying, mm. god awful. Did you get those? Yeah. Cause you know, I have these chubby cheeks and this crazy hair. Beautiful and, hair though. Er, well, thank you. Look at that thing. huh? But every time people draw a cartoon of me, I go, huh! like I, it scares you me. You should frame them, put them up at the house. It's They're awful. They're but that's awful. That's what's fun about them. They're so bad that they're good. I know, but like. Even my own merch people like sent me like a potential cartoon, and uh. I go, "Never do that again." <laughs> it's so bad. I go, "Do you want me to sell the worst version of myself?" Like, we thought we thought it was we thought we They're thought like it was we thought cool. this was slimming. Yeah. Oh, rude. It's not yeah. Great. You're like, listen, who's that? Let me meet the animator. Let me see the let me see the artist. I just think like uh, big girls such as myself, we don't need to be animated. 
That's so. That's funny. You know? We don't need to be animated. We don't need to be animated. Does anybody need to be animated? Some people are cute. Animations like, always bring out the more, the worst weird characteristics. And, and, and at least those caricatures, because that's like even bigger heads and faces. Yeah, it's totally hyperbolized. I don't want mine to be bigger. It's big enough. It's great. You have a one that's really cute, don't you? Well, I mean, this is a draw. That's kind of just that's, like but a. That's like a very realistic. That's kind of where this this yeah. this came from. But this is um. Mm-hmm. But that's good. I, that's a good one. It's just my dumb face. Yeah, your, but it's, your but dumb face is great. It's orange. I'm just an orange man. <laughs> that's that's what I get annoyed when little kids uh, when little kids they stare at me. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're so confused because very young kids because they don't see red. Well, hair they've rarely seen one of me. Yeah. So when they see you, they're you're a leprechaun. They're st- <laughs> I am. I'm the tallest leprechaun I've ever seen. A tall leprechaun. And they just stare at you for yeah. a very long time mm-hmm. until I until I hiss at them, and yeah. then they fucking walk away, little that's right. shitheads. You little low to the earth Daddy, piece of shit. Daddy Santino. <laughs> yeah, Papa Santino. Fucking crack on him. No, but I, I yeah, they, they, little kids, uh, little kids will stare at my big orange because it is a lot of orange. I have looked in the mirror, stoned, and seen myself and been like, Jesus, so much fucking orange. I like it. I think it makes you stand apart. It does. I like it a lot. For, for now. And you could not name your podcast Whiskey Ginger if this weren't the case. So. That's exactly true. Mm-hmm. Ted Munz did this. Shout out to this. this was the nicest piece of art I ever had from a, f- a fan friend. A friend a fa- who's they made this. Yeah, Ted, that's yeah. cool. He's a, he's a he's a fan of the comedy community. He made he yeah. made a bunch of these a bunch for a uh, bunch of different artists. But this was um, yeah, it was very nice. This is the kind of thing where do you have one of these bugs where you can make stuff? Do you have any sort Mm-mm. of other than comedy? I have no skills. Me neither. I can play sports. I'm really good at sports. Well, but I yeah, but I I mean like art stuff. And like I I'm good have... at golf. I'm good at basketball. Yeah. But I've tried to dr- drawing. Fuck drawing, out of here! No. Insane. I I I'm like a kid. I'm like a five year old trying Same. to draw. Yeah. I did one of those. Um, you know, you get drink wine and you paint. Yeah, paint my numbers. I did one of those years and years and mm-hmm. years ago when it was like ver- first came out. It wasn't good. It was the saddest shit. It was like <laughs> patha- it was like embarrassing. You had too much vino. <laughs> no, that's. I, but even still, the teacher was like, "This is bad." It was like we laid it out for you to do. You're like, like, I don't even want to be here. So she, she was like, "What is that?" I'm like, "It's a boat." She's like, "A boat? You couldn't do just a boat? I couldn't paint a boat." You know what? I was like, "Fuck you, bitch." Yeah, I don't have artsy skills. I don't have that and either. I feel like I feel like male comics get more fan art than I don't think. I don't know how much fan art female comedians get. Well, that, I don't know if that's true. I mean, it depends on like what you're putting out there. Like yeah. this was different. This was kind of like a you know he's commissioned pieces for different people and yeah. that that's different. But like as far as fan art goes, I I think uh, I used to get some, mm-hmm. and then I kind of just it's it got overwhelming. Oh, so really? I, well, because it was like, sometimes it's just junk. Right. Sometimes people just like send you junk. Yeah. You're like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> it's like, I made you out of bottle caps. You're like, I don't, I don't, what am I going to do with it? I, 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 I'll never forget. I was with, I opened for Rogan like six years ago uh-huh. for the first time or seven years ago or whatever. And we were, we were at a theater and a guy had painted a 10 foot tall, 20 foot wide like mural. I mean, it Whoa. was fucking insane. Yeah. And it was like people from comedy world where it was different faces kind of floating in the uh-huh. space abyss. And it was unbelievable. Yeah. <clears throat> and the guy was like, what would you like me to do with it? And Rogan was like, I don't know. <laughs> like, what would I, I, and then, and I thought, because he can't fly. What the fuck is it? Well, also, even if they shipped it. I'm sure, I'm sure Rogan was on what? Southwest? <laughs> yeah, he was on, well, uh, we were flying at the time. We both flew Southwest. I was a pilot. He was co-pilot. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you know I'm, you know I'm the pilot. But he literally said to me, he goes, I said, you're not going to take that home? Yeah. He's like, I don't even know where I could put it. Right. Because it and was I so thought, big. Oh, right. I mean, I think he ended up putting a studio or something like that, but I was also- You probably like, get so much. So much. But so much I forget. Stuff. You don't think about that. When you get something, you're like, where am I going to put this fucking yeah. thing? What, if, uh, you know. Unless it was just some like knocked my socks off. Yeah. If it, yeah. yeah. If, if you'd make room for it. I talked right. to, I was on the phone with Joe DeRosa today and he was talking about how he wants to get a new apartment and- because New York is, you yeah. know, fucking miserable. And he's mm-hmm. like, he's like, I'll buy a book, a new book, and get home and be like, where do I put this no, new book? No, really? <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'm out of space. I was oh, like, that man. is the advantage of living out here, at least, is yes. we're not yeah. shoebox. You have some more space. Yeah, we got some living room, you know? I know. Every, I just got back from New York, and even the hotel rooms, you're it's just comical. like- in They're a, smaller they're than this studio. Cheap. No. I'm like in the bed, like reaching for the bathroom sink. <laughs> 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 to take medicine. <laughs> it is too. It's a. It's a tiny life. It's a beautiful life, but it's a tiny. 
uh, I've considered moving there a dozen times. Really? Even recently? Just for the fun. Yeah, just for yeah. the fun. I don't know. I'm I'm trying to build a new act now, obviously, and uh, everyone's like, "How's that like, going? Oh, it's hard. It's, it's, I'm doing the same thing. It's my least favorite part. It stinks. Of this. It stinks. I just you just have. There's no way around it. You just have to do it. But yeah. Every I, I did the cellar when I was back in New York, and they were like, "Well, you just need to move here for a month, and you'll have your act." I'm like, "God dang." I mean, I'm like they're not wrong. No, they're not wrong. Just because the reps there are different, mm-hmm. uh, the, the 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 intensity is higher. It's yeah, like it's just more churn and churn and burn. Seven shows a night. Yeah, I'm like lucky. To, I'm like go to the comedy store. Seven and shows improv a year. like once a week. <laughs> yeah, not even that. It just is. It's all. It's well because it's a different culture, right? Yeah. And that's even that's what gets harder out here, as you, especially if, as you get older, as you just mm-hmm. like anything in life. I used to make fun of my parents mm-hmm. for certain things that now I've adopted. Like wanting to be at home more? Or? Yeah, and also like their time va- evaluation of yeah. like, I don't want to do that. And I'm like, come on. Yeah. And now I'm like, I don't want to do that. Like, I just want to make a steak, <laughs> sit on the couch. Sit on the couch and do nothing. Watch the housewives. I'm sure that's what you're doing. 100%. <laughs> but which one? Which, not re- just Roni. I'm watching all of them, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what we watched the other night? We watched the... Uh, I'm a documentary. I'll I'll watch even the shittiest documentary. Oh, I don't care. I don't care how bad. Me. Oh, like that made you upset. <laughs> you coughed your way out of that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you love that. I'm like, do I reach for bourbon or water? <laughs> when you have a good cough, get some water and then get some bourbon after. Right, hold on. We watched a documentary about the girl who got lost at the Vatican, or well, who was kidnapped. Oh, I saw. I haven't watched it, but I saw it wow. was in the top ten. It must wow. be a popular thing. It's it's. Did she get lost or she kidnapped? Got kidnapped? I figured. But no it was one... really sad. Really, it was just so many twists and turns, and you know, look, I grew up a, a fucking Catholic kid, so I can say it. But those dirty scumbags. Oh, was it, it was just so twisted. Was it part of that that crazy? It was thing? so twisted about like who was involved and why they were able to cover shit up, and mm. it was just you know, it was a whole. It just yeah. made you sad, and it's also. Um, one of those documentaries that bled out. She was sitting next to me, like couldn't take it because she's like, "It's so uh, slow." You know when they drag a shit out. Oh my god, there's so many documentaries that could be like two hours less, and they make them seven seven episodes or something yeah. like that. Yeah, you're I, like just you're like get to it. Well, that was like the uh, Tiger King. I was like, uh-huh. I get it. <laughs> yeah, we already know. Stop making this a five series arc. And that oh uh, that wild 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 country the wild wild west no, will um, smith one of what a great movie no the documentary about the oh, wild country cult yeah wild country. yeah that was pretty like we could have trimmed some fat on that yeah one. yeah we kind of we could have knocked it out in 30 minutes yeah <laughs> these people are fucking nuts you're like i get it right on the end yeah the end <laughs> that's it just you get on you go these people are nuts, these people are the, nuts. End. the end the end yeah. the the but I like a documentary too. I, it just is. It's a way for me to ingest some real life information. Yeah, it makes you feel like you're learning something. Because I don't read anymore. I did get a Jeopardy question right in the Fuck comfort off. of my own home. Tell thanks to a documentary. What was it? Do you know what I, it was? I honestly now can't think of what it was, but it was like the most random. Like my wife looked at me like, "How did you know that?" You I was know? like, "A documentary." <laughs> <That's>, see, <laughs> we're learning. Yeah. Because I stopped reading. Not I was too about long to ago. say, I, I'm not a book gal. I've tried. I'll buy books, mm-hmm. but they're on my desk, my computer desk. Yeah, and they pile up. And then oh. sometimes, if someone comes over and sees it, they're like, "Look mm-hmm. at this fucking guy!" Like on the <laughs> way to go take a piss in our guest hall room bathroom, mm-hmm. it, you can see my little computer desk. Oh yeah, and so it's kind of <clears throat> neat to stack them. So people are like, "Whoa!" They, you, they're like, "Wow, Santino what is this guy is reading? Very, very well read." Studious. Yeah. <laughs> they're fucking. The creases are so fresh. My mom can read like. A book every like three days. She finishes them in like three days. That makes me sick. I can't do it. My grandmother was like that too, and I did not get that skill. But what did she? What did your mom do for work? She was a teacher. <clears throat> right. So she has that studious way about mm-hmm. her. You and I, we're losers. <laughs> we're fucking we're clowns. Fucking clowns, man. <laughs> we're, I like that she went to. We're losers. <laughs> I'm like, sure, bud. <laughs> we're clowns. We're losers. But also, we're. <laughs> you've never seen a clown at the circus on a. On a on a unicycle, also reading a book. Right. Yeah. No, he's juggling for your entertainment. Yeah, Everything we're doing is for you we're guys. We're putting it out to you guys. For you guys. We're not taking it in. No, we're putting it out. <laughs> All of the limited shit we have, we're spewing it yeah. out to you. We don't have time to read. I'm not reading a Chuck Klosterman novel. Fuck you. We're Just busy being clowns. Watch me juggle, bitch. <laughs> I I my mom's the same way. I get jealous. She can read. 
She can read on the train or on mm-hmm. a plane or whatever. I get on a plane. I'm watching Netflix. Yeah. And if I'm not doing Listen that, podcast. I'm sleeping. Yeah. I just, I, 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 I know I should. Mm-hmm. I know it's good for the old noggin. But I'm doing other things because I read this whole, I got scared. I got in this spiral about uh, Alzheimer's and dementia and all this stuff. I was about to say dementia, yeah. And I started mm-hmm. reading all the other things that you can do other than reading a book that can still keep the brain firing at oh, high really? levels. Right, yeah, crossword puzzles. Okay. Sudoku. Uh, it, any yeah. sort of intricate game where you're trying to, ha- where you have to do math oh, a lot. okay. Or do, f- or, or, or. Like, even Tetris, I read this thing that's saying, like, Tetris keeps the brain firing about shapes, designs, and... I was like, so Best Fiends on my phone doesn't count? Hey, man, no, it does not. (laughs) Yes, I think it does. I was like, do you have to, like, eat spinach and stuff, too? Because that might... (laughs) No, fuck that. That might be hard for me. No, but you're supposed to keep doing... Actually, do you know what's really good for Alzheimer's and dementia is... With, oh, bourbon? Whiskey? Well, alcohol in general at at very low amounts over, over the course of time... Apparently, there was an article that came out that said one, it's, one person said one this. guy, yeah, one black house is like <laughs> one booze guy. is good for you to not <laughs> one get guy Alzheimer's. That loves whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know it's good. It's good you don't get Alzheimer's. They're like, okay, no, it said that it, it's. I think what it is is, and I'm wrong. Just uh, I'm probably wrong, but it, yeah. something about how it um, alcohol helps uh, uh, synapses continue to fire because you know how oh, like okay. when you do drink, mm-hmm. sometimes you'll enter a crevice of your ma- mind you haven't been in in a long time. Yeah. You're like, look at this bin. I haven't really yeah. been around. And then, all, and then, if you drink too much, those bins can all get closed. <laughs> yeah, that happened last night. You got went, lit up. Huh? I went shopping with my wife at Neiman Marcus, Ooh. and they all have um like a bar yeah. in them, which is very smart. And I hate shopping. I was, Same. I was like, why don't you go shop? I'm gonna go get an espresso martini. Fuck yeah! This guy gave me like four. You know, they where they leave the like um. The shaker. shaker. Oh yeah. I think it, there was like four in this, and I was a little lit. <laughs> it didn't even mark it. I was spilling. I was spilling, and I was by myself. I looked like a fucking loser. But it's genius. <laughs> it's genius because then you're gonna more apt to be like, yeah, buy it. Yeah, I'm like whatever you want. I'm yelling down. Get the it, baby. Escalator. Spilling. <laughs> Get it, baby. Get it. It's it's seven pairs of jeans. Forget it. Get it. I'm like this is f- this is for my brain health. <laughs> <laughs> the extra shaker, the extra stuff in the shaker. The reason they do that in my mind yeah. is because it reminds of, us of when we were kids and you'd get the the metal mm-hmm. with the milkshake. Yeah, Remember when they give you oh, the extra. Oh, that was the best. Fuck. When you were like, there's still more treats after I, this. And the treat. way that the guy would drop, would give it to you, and just be like. A yeah. little bit extra, and you're like, you son of a bitch. And I think that the the bartender was smart because he knew I'd tip more, and I, I did. Of course, of course. I was like, Do you feel like because you are, um, you know, famous is a weird word, but because then, you're known, right? Do that you, you feel need... like you got to over tip? Yeah, for sure. You be over tipping. I well, I I am so bad with math. Truth be told, <laughs> 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 I came on here just to tell you what a dumbass I am. I'm really bad at math. I'm that person that has the like tip calculator. I sure. Don't, but so now I just tell my wife, I go, you have to just, just do be it. in charge of the bill and the tip. Yeah. And I get that. And she's good about that stuff. She, and she knows how to over tip and do the game. Yeah. Because you do know when they know you. Especially I know. Especially if somebody goes, Fortune, I'm a big fan. But I'm not like, I don't have like, you, gotta you know, do like it. Price is Right money. Or like very weird reference, rock, but I get the it. Rock money. <laughs> you could have said know. anything else. I don't know. <laughs> Where, you know, you hear like some stories that are like, oh, so-and-so, everywhere they go, they tip like a hundred bucks. Well, that Drew Carey. Yeah. I'm that's sh- exactly, I, I, think I think that's what you're I think that's probably what my brain was singing. He used to eat often at a at, similar place. Yeah. And then I would, one of the girls one time told me he tipped a hundred dollars, whether he got eggs yep. or coffee or a that. meal. Mm-hmm. And I was like, every time she goes, every fucking every time. time. Without fail. And I, and that's amazing. I love that. Cool. Well, I don't. Quite, I don't it's quite. A little scary. I don't though. quite make that money. Hundred dollar bills just throwing them around in the sky <laughs> like they don't exist. Hundred dollars. I do all right. I do all right, but you know. But that seems uh, a lot. That seems much. But it's great if you have the means to do that. I think that's amazing. By the way, but if he does go out for a steak dinner and the meal is like three hundred dollars, he's that's still leaving only a hundred. That's yeah. not <laughs> enough. He's just leaving a hundred. That's it. <laughs> in here, we pour whiskey. Whiskey. I'm going to talk to you about Mizzen and Maine. This is so good. I love their shirts. Uh, stiff dress shirts. Not a fan. Gross, weird. Remind me of my dad's old closet filled with dress shirts that looked heavily starched and uncomfortable to wear during the course of the day. And uh, I got to tell you, the material is the thing. The material is the reason that you put on a shirt over and over again. 
and I was never a big fan of dress shirts. Mizzen and Main put out some really beautiful dress shirts. You got to check them out. They're the inventors of the performance fabric dress shirt. It is so nice, so comfortable. Uh, and it's, look, nobody wants to be uncomfortable whether you're in your workplace or you're just uh, hanging around the crib or running errands. And uh, they made the most lightweight, breathable, and moisture wicking dress shirt that you can buy. It looks nice and it feels even better. Um, it is impressive. First hand, I can tell you, their dress shirts are actually the best dress shirts that I've worn. Uh, my favorite, particularly me, their golf shirts. I'm a big golf guy, and uh, they are well-priced, very comfortable, and every time I wear them, somebody's like, the design is very cool, and I said, you can wear this out, you can wear it casual, you can wear it dressed up a little bit. Um, I do love their stuff. I'm a big fan of their shirts, and you will be too. I got a whole closet of them now, so... I get to still dress in them short sleeves and them polos, baby. If you want the best damn dress shirts money can buy, check out Mizzen and Main right now. Go to MizzenandMain.com and use the promo code WHISKEY. You're going to receive $25 off any regular price order of $130 or more, plus free shipping on orders of $100 or more and free returns. You don't like to ship it back, but you're going to like it, I promise. Uh, that's $25 off when you go to M-I-Z-Z-E-N-A-N-D-M-A-I-N, MizzenandMain.com and use our promo code WHISKEY. This episode of Whiskey Ginger is brought to you by Rabbit Hole Distillery and their one-of-a-kind Kentucky bourbon and rye whiskeys. Today, I be sipping on some high gold, some Rabbit Hole high gold, that blue label jazz. This stuff is very good. This is their uh, high rye double malt bourbon. It is the newest addition to their core lineup of whiskeys, and it is very, very good. The Cave Hill is the OG, and I like that very much. But of all the expressions lately, I've been drinking this. They have their Cave Hill four-grain triple malt, which is the original. They have the high gold Boxer Grill sour mash rye. Absolutely delicious. It's bold and spicy whiskey balanced with sweet notes. They uh, they make it the go-to rye for any occasion. And uh, also, Derringer is their sherry finished bourbon, which I think is really good and delicious to give to someone that wants a little different flavor palette going down day throat. Uh, it's uh, finished in Pedro Jimenez sherry casks. Very, very good. This stuff is so good. And uh, it's one-of-a-kind recipes using specially malted grains. You're not going to find it anywhere else. A lot of people say small batch. They ain't. They're over 1,000 barrels. These guys are 15. 15 lets you know the quality is going to be there in every single bottle. I've talked about them a bunch. I really do like these guys. I think they make really good stuff. It's a very holdable bottle, passable, pourable, drinkable. But, you know, pour it in a glass and drink the right way. Be responsible. And all you got to do to get some of this is go to rabbitholedistillery.com slash drizzly. Rabbitholedistillery.com slash drizzly. Enter the promo code rabbit for $5 off your first order. Or... Just go to rabbitholedistillery.com and you can find a map of where they sell this good sauce in your neighborhood and go pick up some today. Have some fun. Please drink responsibly. Come down the rabbit hole with me. Ginger. I like gingers. So yeah, I go, I say to my wife, please, can you just be in charge of... Yeah. I go, you don't even ask. Don't You don't need, need to ask me. You leave what you, you do it. want to... Leave what you want to leave. Does she uh, indulge in the sauce? Does she like the sauce? She does, yeah. She didn't like uh, whiskey and bourbon when we first met. I have turned her on to it. Well, because you're... For anybody from your region, mm -hmm. kind of, it's like almost embedded in the culture. It's yeah. around everywhere. Yeah, it's just... Yeah, it's so good. It's I love an old-fashioned. That's my, that's my go-to drink. Yeah. Um, She likes Manhattans. Uh, okay, but she's, she's get, my grandfather. She'll get some. She'll get lit off those. <laughs> yeah, dude. They're sweet. They're sweet know? vermouth in there, right? Yeah. Yeah. So she doesn't realize how much she's consumed. <laughs> well, because the sugar kind of catapults the alcohol. Yeah. I think people forget that whenever people love sugary drinks, they're like, "Oh, they had wine." I You're had like, one sugar There's drink. Like Nine thousand grams of sugar <laughs> yeah. in there. You're just chugging glucose and stuff that's going to turn into sugar again. Yeah. So that's. So I like. Uh, yeah, like, I, and I, I feel like I've gotten more into like learning about them and like the nicer ones because her stepdad is a big collector of bourbons like rare rare bourbons and whiskeys right his collection's like um, unbelievable he's one of those guys yeah and he'll he'll like drive like two hours because someone's told him that you know i don't know some willet or willet's around you know something's around that... those kind of guys i'm always blown away. I, like i have a great collection i've been ha it's been awesome mm -hmm. i don't go out of my way I know, yeah, me neither. Because I have a whole life going on. You got, you got I can't drive two hours just to get a. That's but, wild to me that people, people really dedicate. They're like, yeah. I have to do it. But when I go visit, he'll send me back with like four, three or four like really great bottles of something. That's very cool. It's really nice. Yeah. I mean, that's very generous too because a lot of those people, a lot of people hold on to stuff because they want it for. That's the one thing I learned about special occasion whiskey. Mm -hmm. uh, and I've got a couple special, but yeah. I don't really. 
save them for special occasions. I save them for special people. Like if somebody uh-huh. says, I really want mm-hmm. X, Y, Z, well, then I'll give it to them. Yeah. You that's know, because nice. if somebody doesn't care about whiskey or doesn't know it. Yeah. Mm, they're not, they're, they have no idea what they have. It doesn't matter. Yeah. And it's not going to taste any different. But I don't them. need a special moment in time because I, I will say I, I had a bottle of, um, somebody gave me a bottle of like uh, Johnny Walker blue mm-hmm. scotch. And uh, it's an expensive bottle. This was many, many, many years yeah. ago when I did, I got something. It was something in the business. I actually don't remember sadly what it was, but I thought <laughs> I'm going to crack too this. Many too many accolades. Too many. Well, you know, look at me now. <laughs> but it was something like I maybe booked a pilot mm-hmm. that probably never ever went. But and it's some an agent or someone gave it to me, and I thought I'm going to save this until the time is right. And it's still uncracked. Really? But I do this. I keep mm-hmm. it in my home bar as a reminder. To crack so all crack, the other ones. Crack, crack them open. Crack yeah. everything open. Yeah. So I keep it uncracked to be like, remember how you thought there was going to be some like moment in time? Right. Because there's never going to be. There's yeah. never like a That's perfect like with time. with champagne too, the like really expensive stuff. Fucking open Just it up. Open it up. Actually, I think opening good champagne on a night that means absolutely nothing is the most fun. It's pretty nice. If it's like a popcorn and shitty movie yeah, night. Yeah, eat some fried chicken with it. Fucking smoke open that expensive bottle. Do it. Speaking of which, I started a movie the other night that we had nice, uh, nice booze with. Uh, the Gray Man. I don't know what that is. Boy, oh boy, do you not need to see it. <laughs> okay, well, good to know. Was it scary? I'm not, I should, I should say. No, it was just like, it's, uh, you know. I, Sounds I, moody. It was uh, uh, Billy Bob Thornton, mm. uh, Chris Evans, and, uh, Chris Evans? Chris Evans? Wait, Chris Evans? Which oh, one is he? the, it was like an action thing. Yeah. Was oh, it? Ryan Reynolds? No, no, no. it's, uh, it's, um, it's, uh, 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 uh um, Ryan Gosling. That was, yes, yeah. Ryan Gosling. And no hate to any of these people, okay? But, I think that movie caused like a bazillion dollars to make. But it was just like, it's just, I, 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 it's uh, when you do an action movie and it's not up to par, yeah, it's going to let you down so much more. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a shitty rom-com bothers me less than an action right. movie that's like, like half in. No, they spent $5 million and... Who cares? Also, especially on the, the heels of, of, Tom, of Tom Cruise, Top Gun was so good. That was good. In the next couple of years, everything's going to be kind of shit. Yeah. Like everything you see, you're going to be like, well, oh, Top Gun, I'm fucking... Right. A buddy told me there was a theater in maybe Pasadena or something that they have 300 degree... Um, they were showing in 300 degrees. So you're out of your peripheral, what? you can see planes flying by. That is wild. That's why I was like, that's crazy. That movie like, made so much money. I know. Why didn't we do that movie? Over a billion dollars. We could have done that movie. I just filmed a thing with the the female uh, lead. Well, um, not um, not Tom's love interest, but the pilot. the girl, the pilot, the the yeah. yeah. Uh, why can't I think of her name? She uh, played Phoenix. I know. I know who she is. Oh, uh, Monica Bar- Lewinsky. <laughs> yes, Monica Lewinsky. <laughs> She's acting. making a comeback, and mm-hmm. comeback is right. No, you filmed what? Uh, a new this, show? Uh, yeah, it's an action. It's an action series, which is crazy, with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, really? I spent five months in Toronto with him. And now you're Republican. Now I am straight <laughs> <laughs> and Republican. Did he give you a big watch? <laughs> Dude, that guy. That guy is still so jacked. He is. It's shocking. He's yeah. And how he's old is this man? Seventy five. Wow. And he was like. On his feet all day, every day. They he was in all the scenes. He had to memorize so much and killed it. Killed it. Killed it. Wow. He just has that thing. He has that movie star thing. He moved here for a reason, dude. Yeah. He knew when he came to America, that's what you got to do. Yeah. You got to love God. He had a vision. Guns. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, but that's great. When does it come out? Uh, I don't know. Sometimes next year on Netflix. On the flicks. On the flicks. You're one of you're like a little darling over there. At I mean, I've been bopping around. That's great though, because I do their radio show. Yes, you and, and you and, and the pop, the old Tom Papa. He texted me the other day <clears throat> because uh, I'll show you. Well, I can't show. You. He sent one of the texts. I can't show you because it's a nude. <laughs> but uh, but 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 Papa. I would love it if Tom sent you sent nudes. me nudes. Well, so Tom and I, I ran into Tom. Uh, a this, golf thing. Tell me how much. No, no, no. Tell me how much. This is just like a Tom Papa text. It's just a coaster. Oh yeah. It's a very pop. Mm-hmm. But so the Broom Street Bar in Soho. Yeah. Um, both of us love to go and visit sometimes. Oh really? I've always loved stopping by. Uh-huh. So once a trip when I'm there, I've I'll swing there. by, and I ran into him, and he's like, 
what are you doing here? I'm like, yeah. I was coming here to get a drink before I met up with somebody. Yeah. And he's like, I'm kind of doing the same thing. Oh, y'all were both pre-gaming. Well, kind of just... By yourself? Well, because he was reading and having a drink, and that I just wanted to like... like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> reading in reading a bar. Reading in a bar. I just wanted to have a drink and mm-hmm. relax before... I was meeting up with someone an hours later. Yeah. And he was like, I'm kind of doing the same thing. Yeah. He's like, I always... And I was like, I love coming here too and what do you do in a situation like that do you feel pressure to then sit together or you're no like, because you... a friend of mine was in the neighborhood and was okay. like i'm gonna come say hi gotcha and i said to tom i'll be outside if you want to come say hi yeah but he yeah. want he, and he did say the very tom papa he was like i'm gonna sit alone for a while yeah so i respect him he but has, he came and said he bye boundaries he, i know and i he, like that this is me time it was truly yeah. and before he left i said you could come give Pop a kiss. Give so, me a kiss. So he gave me a kiss. Give me a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Before you go, give me a kiss. But no, it's just so funny that he he um he we both share that thing. Even though like I I do like being around people a lot. Mm-hmm. You uh, need a minute. I like to do a little disappear me doing ha- alone thingy. I need that too. Yeah. I usually do it at my house, like on the couch. No one. Home don't is talk your getaway. Do yeah. you tell her to fuck off? She. I mean, she. My my wife is really good about. She takes know. her own time, yeah, too. Yeah, because she, like, we spend a lot of time together, but she definitely, like, kind of retreats herself, too, so. That's nice. Yeah. They got, you got to know. You got to have, like, a, I also have times when I'll say, like, <clears throat> I'm going for a drive. Uh-huh. And I just want to go. Yeah. I know what, how funny how antiquated going for a drive is. Remember, as a teenager, like we would go I, for a drive. I always feel like I need an excuse, though. I, f- I just say I'm going to CVS and I might go take a drive. That's interesting because I'll just be like, I'm going to go to get gas into the bank. But I'm essentially doing that too. I want to drive. I, 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 I like I'm driving. doing the same thing, but I've mm-hmm. now admitted that I'm going to just go for a drive sometimes. Yeah. But I'll say like, I kind of want to drive, you know, down to so-and-so and come back. Yeah. And obviously she doesn't care, but I do kind of love sitting in the fucking car. You know, my favorite time is like late, late at night. Yeah. Because no one's on the road. Mm-hmm. You can two in the morning it all over the place yeah. one thirty in the morning, mm-hmm. and I kind of fucking love it. Yeah, there. Sometimes I'll like pull into the driveway and sit for a minute, and, like finish whatever I'm listening to. Mm-hmm. Or, oh, I, I do that. that. Yeah, yeah, I've done that. And then sometimes they come out to the window, like, "What are you doing? What are you doing? Everything okay? <laughs> <laughs> just having just, a breakdown. Well, especially <laughs> <laughs> just bawling. <laughs> especially after a set, late night after a set, you're humming, you're mm-hmm. vibrating a little bit. Particularly if your mind is in a place where you're like, God, I had a great set or I love that or yeah. that was fun. or are trying to remember what right, you... Right, piece stuff yeah. together. And I think you do kind of need a little... Um, mm. It's either that like or... Yeah, you need something in between. It's either that or I want like a drink or food, mm-hmm. which is my like instinct is to be like, yeah. have a drink at home and write and think or yeah. go eat. And so instead of the two, I'm like, if I just like hang out and go take a drive or take mm-hmm. longer to get home, take a longer way home... Yeah. It helps my engine cool off a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I get that. I love I love driving. Anytime like my wife's like, We can order it um to be delivered. I'm like, I'll go I'll get pick it, it up. Yeah. I do the same thing. Yeah. I'm, I'm always like, like I'll, I'll just go, go pick it, it up. Mm-hmm. I did it last night. I went to go get ramen. I was like, I'll get it. Yeah. She's like, No, 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 I'll pick up. I'm like, yeah, she's like, they can just deliver it. I'm like, Man, I kinda want I kinda wanna go get it. Because it's nice to get up and get out. Mm-hmm. And then you come back. Yeah. And then you realize they fucked up your order and you go all <laughs> you the way gotta back. Go all the way back. And you go and I said spicy and this is also this this is not these aren't the thin these are the thick noodles. And they go, Oh, okay, we didn't okay see the James Corden. And so then they <laughs> <laughs> So then you spit on the guy at Balthazar and you say, I'm never coming back here again. You know how it goes. <laughs> That's so funny. And he responded to it or whatever that is. And when I, when I read this stuff about how people are to people at restaurants, yeah. you know, and who knows? I wasn't, we fucking weren't there. We don't know how this all went down. But in your mind, you, you immediately are like, you can either see someone doing it uh-huh. and you go, I can see that. Doing yeah, it. I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> or, or you're like, oh, this is a bullshit This is bullshit. Story. You yeah. know right away when someone's like, and then they went to the da 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 You can always tell if yeah. it's exaggerated with a, you should have seen how they were at the place. Mm-hmm. The, the other ones I love, though, the thing I like is when I'll go to a restaurant somewhere in a town or something that's, you know, on the, on a tour or on the yeah. road, and they'll go, you know who we had here, X, Y, Z? And they'll go, man, it was, they 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 had the staff there late. They told a great story. And, da, da, da. Yeah. and that always makes me feel. Oh, yeah, like, like you're. Like you're... I, I'm, I'm, uh. I'm the gonna be the letdown You're version. You're not as fun. Yeah, yeah. I would get that all the time. Well, so when I, especially when I did Chelsea lately. Yeah. They would be like, 
you know, so and so went out with everybody afterwards and bought shots for everyone. You're like, oh, cool. I was like, can I get some chicken wings to go after the, <laughs> after the show? I got this hotel calling my name. I got to go watch Netflix and uh, eat some chicken wings. It is true that when they go, yo, you know who came here before and really just fucking blew the place apart? <laughs> and then they'll go, how was Fortune? It's like, oh, man, she did great. She was awesome. She went back to the hotel yeah, with chicken went, wings. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they that, changed their pitch. Yeah, they're like, oh, you know, I, they would tell me that, and I would be like, I, I would just straight up be like, I'm gonna let you guys down so hard this weekend. Well, because sometimes I am in the mood to go ha- to have some fun, and I'll, I'll there's certain clubs that when I do go back and do mm-hmm. them, I'll always like sit, have a drink with the staff, and I want to hang out because I know them or yeah. for years and. But sometimes you're like, I'm oh, fuck, I'm tired. You're so tired. Yeah. I mean, that's... you just did you did a bunch of work. Yeah. But people are like, for some reason, they don't feel that way, mm-hmm. and so they're like, you're like, I just built the house. They're like, I know, let's party in it. Yeah. You're like it's really, I know, it's a little exhausting. But that's because part of the, our job is to be fun and yeah, bring fun to the crowd. So everybody else is like, well, let's keep that going. I know, Mateo. I ran ran into Mateo when we were in uh, in Wisconsin in mm-hmm. Madison and. You know this guy. He he hugs and kisses every single person that comes to the show. Really, he does free. He does like ass grabs to everybody, yep, and yep. then he'll do he'll he'll fan he'll, for life. He'll well, and he'll also do <laughs> uh, yeah custom paintings of everybody. He really no, he doesn't. He does a polar opposite. I was like, gonna go say hi. He's like, I'll be right upstairs. I was like, I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> But it was a, it's hard now to pay it's it it gets harder to dedicate the time in between cuz you you want to be ready for the next show or the next thing. Yeah. And I think as the older you get that that scale of like the older you get the less mm-hmm. you can give all that give, extra time. Yeah. Unless you're Kreischer, who seems to be fucking Oh man, he, unlimited. He has more energy than anyone I've ever seen. He's a he's a teenage boy. He's yeah. like a fucking 14-year-old boy. And I did his um I did the um fully the cat- loaded Oh, the fully loaded tour. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Did, uh, one of the shows in Rochester and it was at the end of their weekend, so he was feeling it for yeah, sure. So that heavy. was the only time I've ever seen him quiet, but he was building it back up like you could see that he was kind of like this and he got his big coffee and he was like conserving everything he had cuz he was going to go blow the roof off. And then the off. switch hits and he's like yeah. Yeah. And then shirt comes off on stage, and then they party again yeah. all night. So that is fucking wild. Yeah. You've been taking your shirt off a lot on stage as well. Yeah, you know, I gotta give the people what they, they want. want. <laughs> <laughs> they did yell for me to take my shirt off because I'm built similarly. They were like, "Take it off, <laughs> take it off." I think Nikki did, but I was like, "We Re- uh, really not on the one show I did, but I think she. I saw her post a picture of doing the taking the shirt off. Yeah, but Nikki." She, Got a whole different body than me. <laughs> Nikki. Nikki took her shirt off. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. I get that. That's that's uh that's a very ni- I I um no won't no no chance. No, I'd you quicker, won't do it. I'd quicker to take my pants off than you my seem shirt like off. Like you would you're working with something quicker to take my pants off than my shirt off. Really? Yeah. Cause that bit's funnier to me. My body is normal enough mm-hmm. in my own mind where it's like if I take my shirt off, they'll go, Oh, it's not <laughs> you know what I mean? With him he's got that beautiful belly. And it's fun. It's yeah. like he's a, he's a and fucking... it's like a it's like a weirdly fit belly. Yeah, I just have like a I look like a guy. Like some people have like a flabby, yeah, big belly, but yeah, this yeah. is like tight. And yeah, it's like, tight. It's like rock a hard. F- rock hard from fit years belly. of booze, <laughs> vodka just forming that stone belly. But we skipped over this Papa because you and the pops do your own pod. We do, yeah. I know we ran through it because I wanted to mention we we love Tom Papa over mm-hmm. here, but you guys have your pod for Netflix. We and do. Um, are you still humming along? Yeah, three and a half. Over three years. Ain't gonna stop. Ain't gonna stop. I can't believe it. I can't. We do it Monday through Thursday on Sirius XM. It's great. Netflix is a joke radio. What number is that? 90... 93. Three? Yeah. Because the comedy is 90 to, to 98, yeah. right? Yeah. It's like... Uh, it's don't... so funny when you go through the comedies on Sirius XM and it's like... You'll Netflix. Hear, you hear your friend on the radio. That's so weird. <laughs> That's annoying. I immediately yeah, call someone. Yeah. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. This joke sucks. But then they'll also have like um, throwback, throwback, whatever throwback channel. Yeah. And it's like a comment from the 80s I've never heard of in my entire life. I know, yeah. It's so wild. How, uh-huh. that, that library that they've built up and and they're probably not paying anybody for any, any of that fair use shit. But good on you, serious. I'll get a, I'll get one of those checks sometimes from Radio Play. Like once in a while from yeah. that service, whatever that's called, and I'm like, oh, this is that's pretty good. Yeah. But then I think, 
How many times is this plane? How many plane? times? Yeah, you don't because they don't put that. They don't got to tell and you. It's like here's here's a little dough to keep here's you quiet. Seven bucks. <laughs> you shut up. You just shut. You shut your, your mouth. fucking little mouth. You shut your dirty comedian mouth. Shut your mouth and take this money. <laughs> and we're like, all right, yeah, <laughs> fine. That's fine. No, I and I actually got uh, I actually got a residual check. Um, for 16 or 17 cents the other day mm. from like my first rolling uh, TV no TV stand up uh oh. on uh uh comedy Carson Daily. Wow. Up late with Carson Daly. Yeah. Is that what it was called? Where did that rerun? <laughs> it was like an international buy. It was so weird. I was like, why would this be like some guy in Latvia is That's like, so gotta funny. watch Carson Daly. <laughs> Carson Daly. You're like, well, you're like, like cha ching. Yeah, buckets. <laughs> 16 cents. To the bank. Anyway, that's why they I had. They played it 16 times. It was a penny per play. <laughs> <laughs> they just looped that episode. They really love that episode. Yeah. I like I like looking at, uh, I like looking back at some of these like old, those old residuals, particularly the ones that are like, you know, 20 cents or mm-hmm. 45 cents. And I, it's funny to think that. Will go on for as long as someone is willing, some salesperson is willing yeah. to sell it to an international market. Yeah. That's creepy as shit to me. <laughs> that someone around the world is going to watch that in some weird little hotel room somewhere yeah. and it's 20 years old. Yeah. Cause I've been in like random countries and like some like bizarre stand up set from someone I know will like, pop pops up. up. That's so creepy. And you're like, what? <laughs> yeah, like I read somewhere, <clears throat> ev- somewhere in the world, at any hour of the day, Seinfeld is playing. That is crazy, but I. Yeah. But I get it. I, yeah. Kramer, Kramer, Kramer's probably the most. <laughs> he's probably the most global character yeah. that you could you could no matter what because he's so uh-huh. animated. No matter what country around the world, they would go. This guy, that's funny. That and friends everywhere. I know, just a bunch of whites in an apartment. <laughs> What a show. <laughs> what a show. What a white apartment show. <laughs> Are you making your own show, by the way? Uh, no. You should. Really? Why not? I tried. I tried. It's, not not to say so, I won't you're try. You're so apt again. to have your own thing. Well, I appreciate it. I tried to do uh, my own sitcom. I yeah. shot it for ABC like 2015. Yeah. Uh, but it didn't get picked up. So then you're like, mm-mm. Well, then I just, it, development's so, like, you know, it's oh, yeah. so hard. It's a nightmare. It's so long. Yeah. Then I shift, I was like, oh, I'm going to write movies. And now I've sold three movies, but it's like a four-year development, like, where yeah. it's still a possibility. Yeah, no, it exists. Four years later, you know. People don't know. When somebody goes, this took forever to make, and they're like, how oh, long? You're yeah. like, as long as you've had that second job you had. Yeah. I'm about to do, like, an animated, I sold, like, an animated pilot. Cool. So I, uh, they, I'm gonna write it, and they're they'll decide if they want to move right. forward. So you better we'll fucking see. take it. <laughs> you know who you are. You better fucking pick up the show and do it. Otherwise, we're gonna have to have a talk with you. Okay? That's right. Um, regardless of all that, I want to say thank you. I love you. Same shoes, by thank the way. You, Complete I love you. accident. Twins. Complete accident. And the blue back. Shoe kiss. Blue backs. <gasps> yeah, baby. We're twins. Twinsies, um, I appreciate you coming. Thank I want you. everyone to please uh, do me a favor and go on the Netflix go on and it. put on Good Fortune, whether or not it's in the background, whether or not you're yeah. putting the kids to bed, whether or not you're actually sitting and watching the whole thing. Please. Either way, watch her special right now. And if you don't, um, we're gonna be so mad. We're gonna at be you. bummed. We'll be so sad. But you have to be nice about it. You're That's like, but, right. but you should though. But and, I, and I'll be working out new material at some clubs if people are into that. Go on. You're going on a little club tour. Yeah, like Huntsville, Alabama, Ontario, California, Oxnard, California, San Jose, and Irvine. Let's go. Those would be over the next three months. So California, come yeah. out and see. What's the website? Uh, Fortunefeemster.com. Fortunefeemster.com. We'll put it in the description below, and then also. Um, uh, Huntsville, Alabama. Very, very fun. Very underrated. Didn't know about yeah. it till I left Nashville. Went down there. Yeah. And my driver said, uh, "Gonna be a bunch of nerds at the show." That's what he said. And I <laughs> oh, was like, NASA's "NASA is there." That's what he said. He was like, "You yeah. know NASA." And I was mm-hmm. like, "Really?" He drove me by NASA. I looked at it, and I go, "That's really cool." He goes, "That, that is the cool part about this area." And I was like, <laughs> "Yeah." And he goes, "Cause uh, about a mile down that way." Is where the KKK got started. I was like, oh, interesting. I did not know that. And I was like, I hope they don't come to the show. No. He's like, I highly doubt they'll come see your show. I was <laughs> like, okay, cool. <laughs> they're like, that's good. He's like, they're not into you. I don't have KKK stuff. They're, yeah, you're, you're doing something right. <laughs> I don't. guess. 
It was so weird. It was like that, the juxtaposition of putting NASA and where the KKK is. It, yeah. Isn't that wild? Yeah. Uh, well, you know, well fucking... I'll be there trying to write new material. So come out, NASA NASA folks. There you go. Get, get What's the date? Out, when are you there? November. Like, it's like 17th or 18th. Go out. Like go out. and I'm, My mom's coming. Oh, really? Yeah, she'll be there. Well, if you want to meet Fortune's mom, which is probably <laughs> a lot cooler than the set. She's delightful. Then come out and see her, Huntsville. Uh, fortunefeemster.com thank you thank do me you. one favor we end the episode the same way What's that? you look into that camera and you say one word or one phrase to end the episode forever I don't remember what you said the last time I don't but either no then, then then we hope it's just, different just in one word or one phrase right into that camera whenever you're ready um buttholes <laughs> <laughs> in here we pour whisk 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 Creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me five dollars for the whiskey and seventy-five dollars for the horse. Gingers are oh, hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger, I like gingers.